it's me, my armpits hairy. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am continuing my series where I go into a store and try to do a full face of makeup with their clearance. And today's video is on a very popular store that you may or may not have heard of. It is called Sephora. Yay! <laughs> I went to Sephora to do a full face of clearance makeup. I've done Ulta, Target, and Walmart. Walmart. Walla 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 Clip back to how that went. Today we are doing Sephora. So in Sephora they've always had like at the end cap a little clearing section. Normally it's pretty darn small but when I went there I found out different news and basically instead of yabbering on forever I'm, I'm gonna show you the footage. One quick announcement I'm having a meetup at the Morphe store. At the Morphe Delamo store I'm reading so I don't mess it up. It is going to be on the 19th of May from 11 to 1:30. Come out get a hug get some love. My brush kit in limited quantities will be at that store for sale that day as well as nude patootie cast pajamas and the 8H and 8L palette so the store is going to be full of stuff they're doing lots of giveaways and prizes and all kinds of stuff it's going to be a moment honey and we're also doing the official grand opening of that store so it's going to be a fun saturday so may 19th mark your calendars come on out and let me meet you honey and that is my early announcement <laughs> so without further ado we'll sing the subscribe song and then i'll just take you to sephora with me subscribe to my channel before you eat and now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. There's no clearance section. I just so bored. Find something? <laughs> Laura, really? <laughs> All right, so we asked, and it looks like the only parents we get to have online. Great. Okay, we're gonna be doing this online, but we do have the in-store intro, so. Great. <laughs> Guess this wasn't a wasted trip, huh? It wasn't at all. <laughs> So that's just the tea. Sephora is no longer carrying clearance makeup in store. It is only going to be online only, which they had quite a large selection of discounted makeup online, which was pretty exciting to me. The great thing about it being, this is Dr. Pepper, you already knew that. The great thing about it being online only was the fact that none of this makeup is used. You never want to use uh, open or use makeup that you're purchasing. You just don't use it. You don't know where it's been. I do it because I'm crazy, but I don't recommend that you do it. But when I buy it on Online, none of it was used so that was just like a pleasant little like well praise Jesus I'm kind of annoyed because the sell items that I got they're not showing me the original price they're just showing me the sell price and I want to know like how much I got off but when I bought it it did so I don't know why the apps being weird a little bit weird but oh well so I didn't get a facial primer <laughs> let's just start this video off with all the things I didn't get <laughs> but I did get a foundation and I got this spray foundation which I haven't used before I have tried the Dior one but this one is an easy professional airbrush results at home is what it says go what I think I paid like I want to say like 15 bucks for this now I also bought this wonderful cushion foundation from Sephora I kind of just want to dip my sponge in this and pat it around my face to start with. It's definitely not full coverage, but it definitely has like some coverage, which I think it looks really pretty so far. I use my Y6, sorry guys, but it's like the cushion foundation, just dabbing into it with a sponge seems to be working really well. The shade is a little bit pink for me. Let's see what shade we got, honey. Sable Sand. Sable sand. Okay, and honestly, I'm just gonna do a light layer of spray paint. Oh, that looks 
What does that look like? This is the shade medium. Not so light, huh? Let's do a little more. Let's get crazy. Oh, not that crazy. <laughs> I hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. I know Mother's Day was this past Sunday. And unfortunately, my mom's in Alabama and I wasn't able to be with her. But y'all know Mama Ann on this channel. And if you don't, girl, check out that video. I glammed my mom. I love her so much. She's amazing. Um, My face feels really heavy and wet with both foundations on. It looks like extremely dewy. But I think it will dry and settle probably a bit. I'm going to hope that it will. Next, what was on clearance? They had a lot of Sephora collection in clearance, but it was this Pantone concealer palette and it looked like it could, if the quality is good, like this could be like a really nice palette. I got the one that is the Correct and Conceal in light medium. I'm just gonna dab my sponge in this shade right here. <sighs> kind of thick. We're just gonna dab it out. Wow, that's thick. The concealer, it does feel kind of greasy, but I don't, I don't hate it. Like, I'm not like, this is awful. It, it does have some coverage. It just feels slightly heavy. For setting powder, and I haven't had a lot of luck in setting powder in the clearance section. They just don't want a discount. Again, another Sephora brand product. I got the Universal Setting Powder. Now, I can already tell you that this one's just super flashbacky, and it's just one of those, but let's just see how it sets the makeup because I mean not every day is a photo shoot for people so don't have to really worry about the flashback however with snapchat nowadays every day is kind of like a photo shoot you know you'd be taking those selfies all the time at least I do anyways sometimes I take a selfie and I'm like you literally look like a monster and then I post it it does seem to be like really making the makeup smooth soft more matte more wearable so I like the setting powder for that. I just probably couldn't like go ham and like take a bunch of pictures because it would probably be flashbacky. Eyebrows. Ugh, it's another Sephora brand collection. I didn't really realize I got this many pieces. You know what? Let's do blush because it's not a Sephora brand. It is this Kosanga 22. I have not had a lot of luck with this brand. It is a con 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 It is a Korean brand. It has a little sponge on the end. Kind of weird, huh? Kind of weird. Ooh, pressed it and it's like this hot pink color that comes out, which does make me nervous. Dab it out on my sponge and I don't like it. I feel like, okay, let me be honest. I feel like like me being all full coverage right now and like packing on powders and things and then putting this on top and it just ain't gonna work. It's also just not gonna show up on my skin tone and it just is what it is. You put on just to be, you had fair skin you only had a BB cream on and you're just a dewy girl and you popped a little bit of this on your cheeks. It would probably be beautiful. So I've just come to the conclusion that I just don't think that this brand is for me. I want to tell you guys that I think it could be for some of you. For eyebrows, the only thing I could find in the clearance section was this brow, tinted brow freeze is what it's called. It's by the Sephora brand and it's like this big marker thing. Wishing that this would work out for me really well, but I don't know what's gonna happen, I'm kind of nervous. Wow, no one was gonna tell me I had an eye booger. None of you? Wow. I feel like this product is so waxy and I also feel like this product is simply for people who just have like luscious, beautiful, blessed, from God above brow hairs that I ain't got. Let's move on to eyeshadow because that's what I'm gonna use for my brows today. And I got this House of Lashes X Sephora collection. Really cool palette. It's like a little jewelry box and you open it and it has that House of Lashes lash glue and you could put your House of Lashes lashes in them if you bought them separately. But then you open it and I do like, that was great. I kind of like that this comes out though so I don't have to carry that whole jewelry box with me to do my makeup. So, I mean, they're super light pastel -y colors, but they look pretty cool. I'm gonna have to go in with this brown color and try to fill in a brow because Henny, it just ain't working that other brow product. <laughs> my brows, just so you guys know, I'm literally missing all this hair right here. Okay, this is not gonna be my color. <gasps> I'm gonna fill in my brows and then I'm gonna go back in over a brow pencil and go over them to like make it more my color so we don't look like an absolute nut because this has so much warmth to it and my actual natural brow hair is more of a cooler dark shade. I'm gonna take an E22 brush and first I'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is like a matte 
mauve shade and I'm gonna work this in the outer corner and then bring it right around like that. This shade doesn't have like a ton of pigment to it. I kind of build it up a little bit and it's still just kind of like wah, wah. that's okay because the color is like slightly the shade of my skin. <laughs> I'm a mauve pink skin girl. What? Next, I'm going to tap into this yellow shade, but I'm using an R39 brush from Morphe. I think I know what look I want to do. Sometimes, do you guys ever like know exactly what look you want to do in your head and then you do it and it turns out nothing like you thought it would? I'm just going to be real with you guys and we're going to have a real moment. That happens to me and I'm like, sometimes I get so disappointed and then sometimes I'm like extra impressed because it turns out even better and I'm like, oh yes, the makeup gods were with me. And sometimes I'm like, wow, the makeup devil came out to play today. I really, this palette is like by House of Lashes and I remember whenever I started my channel, I like always used... House of Lashes lashes, and I still love them so much. They're really amazing. I'm gonna put a little bit of translucent powder so we don't get too crazy. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this warm brown shade. I'm just gonna pop that as well to build up color because I feel like the eye look is super yellowy still. So I wanna deepen it up a little bit. I'm gonna take an E17, which is a little bit more of a smaller detailed blender, and I'm gonna take the darkest brown shade. And I'm just gonna Deepen up the outer corner. <laughs> With the concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my eyelid. Honey, we're going for a big cut crease today. I'm gonna go in with the lightest matte shade and pack it on the inner corner. That'd be more annoying than my voice now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, these shades, I do have to build up the pigment a bit. I don't hate the palette at all, but like I would use it again for sure. It's just like the pigment is a bit dusty and I do have to like build up a ton to get, like, get these colors to show up and I feel like they're a little bit patchy. So is it my favorite eyeshadow palette? No, do I hate it? I don't, and I, I mean, I would use it again, but just, you know, not my favorite. Here comes the color. I'm gonna go in with the Till shade and hope for the best. Okay, this Till shade is literally doing nothing but getting really gross and patchy, which is so disappointing. Maybe I'll try the other blue shade in the palette. The other shade has like a lot more pigment to it. <sighs> it's giving me trouble as well. I'm getting really frustrated. I feel like my look is messed up too because of this crunchiness right here. I think this is about as good as I'm gonna get it. I just mixed the two colors together and just packed them on as hard as I could and hope for the best. Um, I don't think it looks bad though. I think it turned out okay. Eyeliner, finally we're at eyeliner. Mm. I'm gonna use this Sephora Stylographic Dynamic Line Eyeliner. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to take my time with this too and just go really slow. Did just to do the tip of the flick. I did go in with the Stila because there was just no way on earth. I tried with this. The best I could do was get in the inner corner and it was very difficult. So just a heads up, this is not so very easy. This is not wing liner friendly. For lashes, I actually found some Velour lashes on clearance at Sephora. These are silk lashes and these are in this type. Strut it. For highlighter, I got the Milk Makeup highlighter on clearance. And this one is Space Jam. So it's very holographic. You have like a orangey, a bluey, a whitey, and a pinky. Um, they all kind of look similar, but the orange and blue, you can definitely tell a difference. It's pretty cool little glow there. You can tell it's like holographic, but not too crazy. I do like. Now I'm gonna add a little bit to my nose and I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my brow bone and Cupid's bow as well. Bronzer, I got the Sephora Collection Bronzing Face Powder in number seven that I am going to put on my face. I'm 
Lastly, for lips, the liquid latex are from Too Faced are on sale from $21 to $10. So I got um, Peekaboo, and they mostly a bunch of colorful colors are what's on sale. I don't not like these, but they are very sticky. I'm gonna add just a little bit of these two colors to the lower lash line, and then I'm gonna add some mascara. the final look and I actually like the final look a lot I like the foundation I like the highlighter I like how it all turned out on my face but the makeup was a little difficult to work with as far as the eyeshadow palette I do like the palette I just had a lot I take a lot of time building up the colors I like the setting powder I just know it's gonna have flashback I like that eyeliner how it looks it was just very difficult to work with and I had to improv um, and I like the lippy, it's just very sticky. So, you know, I do like the products on a positive note and how they turned out. It's just like there are little cons about them, but there are pros too, because girl, she looking good. I'll see you all in my next video. See you later, alligator. All right, it's all right, shake your booty. I'm teaching them how to twerk with their back, because I'm back.